how to make pretend makeup for your toddler. Let's try this one. This will be good. I can make a letter. Yeah. Put them on my eyes and they can feel a little bit better. Good job. Now I need to put something on my eyes. How about I put some green on my on my on my eyebrows? Okay. So from the local dollar store I picked up just some random assortments of makeup you know, a dollar a piece. And it doesn't obviously matter what colors you get. Just um, try to kind of pick out a, a variety of um, containers that you think look good. And you can also get a little assortment of brushes um, for a dollar. And they had pink and purple and black. So, if, you know, for your little girl, she has a favorite color, you can pick accordingly. Um, I got all of this at Dollar Tree, but you can also check a place like Big Lots or Dollar General or wherever you have um, that just has cheap cosmetics. Um, and then also another thing you can do is if you've used up all of your own makeup, um, your own eyeshadow or blush or whatever container, and it's just about empty, you can use those existing containers and you won't have to buy um, cheap makeup. But basically I'm only buying these things for the container, not for the makeup itself. But what we're going to go ahead and do is open up all of these and we're going to scrape out all of the existing blush and shadow and powder. And if you've got another use for it, you can use it. Um, if you make dolls or anything, you can use that for putting um, a little bit of blush or color to your dolls or things like that. Um, you can let me know in the comments if you have something that you think craft-wise you could put all of this cheap makeup to use with. But basically what I'm going to do is scrape it all, all out um, into the garbage and then just wash out the containers. So that's the next step. I'm also going to... Um, use this moment to just tell you that this craft is not for little tiny kids. I probably wouldn't use it on anyone under the, under the age of three, only because these little brushes can be kind of small and the little swabs can break off if the little one's using them. Um, and so there are some things that could be choking hazards. Um, you know your child and you know what they're safe to play with. If you're real concerned about that, you could throw away the little, um, Appliers and use like sponges or even cotton balls or um, cosmetic wedges or like just the big cosmetic brushes, which they even have brushes bigger than this at the dollar store. Um, Lane typically likes the brushes more than the little shadow appliers anyway. So just pick and choose what you think is safe for your child, but I wouldn't give um, this fake makeup to a little tiny girl or boy. Um, just give it, you know, somebody that you know is safe not to swallow the tiny pieces. It's going to go in. You can use, um, you know, a fork, a knife, a pair of tweezers, something sharp, whatever, or even a finger if you wanted to, and break up all of the powder and just scrape it into the garbage and then wash each one of these out. If you've got a bleach wipe or something like that, that helps. Okay, this next step is completely optional. It's just an aesthetic thing, and you certainly don't have to do it. But if you've got the little um, brand on the little covers of your um, makeup cases, and you have some nail polish remover handy, you can just use um, a Q-tip or a piece of uh, paper towel or something like that. And you can actually remove the little brand. You see, I've, I've mostly taken it off here. So if you just want your covers to be clear, you can just use some um, nail polish remover and scrub that off. Makeup containers are emptied and cleaned and dried. You're ready to move on to the next step. And what you'll need is um, some felt. It's just regular acrylic craft felt that you can get at your craft store. I think even Walmart carries it. And that's anywhere, I think 20, 30 cents a sheet. Um, and a sheet is more than enough. But if you do any kind of um, crafts, especially with children's crafts, you probably have little scraps hanging around. And you only need little pieces because we don't have very big spaces to fill. So this is a great project to use up little um, scraps but if you're starting fresh and you don't have anything in your stash you don't have a whole lot to invest in felt just go and get a few different um colors and for the shadows you might want to go 
um, you know, with brighter colors versus natural, what you might typically wear in eyeshadow, you, because you're thinking of little ones that like, you know, bright, crazy colors. So you might want to go with pinks and purples and bright blues and greens, but you certainly could make a natural palette if, if that's, you know, something that appeals to you. And then you want to go with skin tone. Um, you've got a few options to go with skin tones. Um, so you just want to have a variety of colors just kind of to mimic the makeup. And so that's your craft um, belt. And then you'll need obviously a piece of scissors to cut it. And lastly, you'll need some glue. And this is what you would need. To, and then what you're gonna do, it's kind of self-explanatory. You're gonna cut the felt into the shapes of your containers and you're going to try to mimic the makeup. So there's no super scientific way to do this next step. Basically, you're just wanting to fill in the blanks um, the empty containers and so I'm going with this for my pressed powder look and I just kind of freehand cut a circle and I'm just going to press it in here and then what you can do is either make indentations or just use a pen or a pencil to mark the actual circle and then you can cut it um, closer to fit into the space. Anyway this is already glued down so I can't repeat it but basically I had my circle cut out I put some glue down in it not too much not too little making sure to go all the way to the edges and then press your felt down and let it dry. All right, and just a little tip when you've got a, a container that's got several little openings, what's helpful is if once you cut a shape that fits one, then you can use that as a pattern to cut the other colors of felt. It's purple. Okay. Okay. okay, this next step is completely optional. You can just do it if you have these things on hand. It's purple. Yeah, it looks purple. It's red. These are just little fabric glitter glues um, that you can pick up for like a dollar a bottle. This one happens to be red. And so what you can do... here. Hold on, baby. You can just squirt a little bit onto the felt. It doesn't take a whole lot. You can use a paintbrush if you have one handy, but I just kind of use my finger because I'm messy like that. And you can just rub it in to the felt. You clean off the excess and it looks kind of milky right now because it's wet but once it dries all you'll really see is the glitter not the glue so again you can just kind of coat it in there as best you can and then leave it to dry and I'll show you what that looks like when it's all done all I do is put the glue in there mm -hmm. and you hit so well mm -hmm. and not squirts and then after you do that then what do you do I put the, I put the, I put the. Can you rub it in with your finger? Um, just a minute. Hold on, baby girl. Oh, 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 that's a little bit much. Here, let mommy use her finger to get that out of there. <laughs> that's what I did. For. Okay, wait. I think we got enough. Can you use your finger and help clean it out? Okay. Thank you for being my helper. Now I want some purple. Okay. Purple match the same color. Oh. I okay. can do this purple. Okay. And this purple, and this pink. Okay. Same okay. Color. So the next thing I was gonna make, I had my empty uh, powder container or liquid foundation container with a lid. And so what I'm gonna do is try to simulate a little fake piece bit of um, liquid foundation. So you would just take a, again a flesh colored piece of fabric. I'm sorry, felt, and you can cut it in this crazy pinwheel shape. And you can find templates for this online if you just look up felt whipped cream because it kind of simulates a dollop, but you're going to need to make it bigger than that. I just kind of freeformed a, a pinwheel, kind of looks like a truffle a tree actually. <laughs> but you want the center to be about the size of your container and then the pinwheel. And then what you do is you're going to just take a little bit of polyfill and put it in the center, not too much, but just a little bit. And if you don't have polyfill, which is a craft supply, you can use a cotton ball or two just to add some stuffing. And then you're gonna thread a needle and you're gonna connect one pinwheel point to the next, stitching in and gathering all of these around. So I'm gonna do that and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so once you have drawn up the points of the pinwheel, this is what you should have. There's a little bit of polyfill in the center just so it's puffed. And what I'm basically trying to simulate here is like a whipped liquid foundation and with the smaller white one in the small container, 
maybe like a little moisturizer or something. They're not perfect, but it basically adds some variety to their play makeup bag. And this is one time where I would recommend just maybe a little smidge of hot glue just to secure these down into the container. Okay, so after everything is done and dried and glued into place, this is roughly what you'll have is your little play makeup set. And you can see the glitter where we added it with the glitter glue. It just adds a little sparkle to the felt if you want to do that. Again, it's optional. And your foundation here. And then, as you saw earlier, I picked up some brushes from the dollar store that you can add to the set. So these... Some of these also come with their own brushes, so you can replace, replace all of those into their sets like that. And again, you might want to add some little sponge um, applicators, Q-tips, or cotton balls, anything like that that your little one might have fun playing with and applying their makeup. And the last thing you might want to do is get a little um, bag to keep it all in. And I usually pick these up at Goodwill all the time for like 50 cents. The dollar store also has them. You can also use like a pencil bag that you can pick up pretty cheap. And that way everything has a place that goes in. Hold on, baby girl. And I usually keep Lane's makeup under the sink with my makeup. That way we can apply it together. Good. Let's go chop. Oh. I got the purple one. Oh. How would I do this one? Not ready yet. I still need to put some pink and purple and purple. Okay? Okay. There. Okay, all set. Done. Okay. And then I'll put white here. Chat.